Hey, it's Darlene, and today I'm working on a really fun layout. So I cut, I designed this layout in Cricut Design Space. I cut out the pieces, I laid it out, and realized it was very stark. So I've said this many times that I don't do mixed media on layouts, but this is what I'm doing this time. I grabbed a couple of shades of orange and uh, used these little fun blending brushes and just randomly put orange on this top half of this layout and you'll see in a minute what I'm talking about but then I also grabbed this pewter gray um, ink and did the same thing now this is actually a baseball layout and that's why I felt the need to grunge it up a little bit the colors of our favorite MLB team are black and yellow oh my goodness <laughs> black and orange <laughs> so that is why I chose the orange and also the dark gray versus a black I thought the black would just be too too much but um again I'm just um inking up this or grunging up this layout I will ink up the stars I cut six of them so three I did in the orange and three in the gray and um this part right here I hinged the positive negative I don't know how you want to call it of this stencil that I got from design space and I'm going to be adhering using a liquid adhesive the negatives that's what I'm going to call it I don't know if that's really what it is but I, I hinged that the base on the layout because I wanted to use it as a guide when I started adhering these pieces and that was just to make sure I put them on evenly and also um you know, kept the circles, circles instead of ovals. So I thought that was a really good idea. I used paint, uh, painter's tape for this because that way when I did peel it off, even though it's in the back, I didn't want to rip up any paper and ruin everything that I just did. So once I do all that, again, there's little, little slivers of pieces as well. And you saw me like I kept kind of opening that hinge every so often because I didn't want the pieces to glue on. But you see what I mean? Can Originally, this was going to be white on white, and it was just way too clean for a baseball or a sports themed layout. So I really did feel the need to grunge that up. So um, once I remove all this, and don't worry, I will use those pieces for something. I will not toss those. But um, and then I um, cut out these baseballs orange and black again some orange with black some black with orange um, I, I use the pop tone orange fizz and black licorice from cutcardstock.com which I am a design team member for and if you get a chance go down to their uh, website because they have a wonderful cardstock um, really thick great cardstock uh, cut, cuts beautifully with the Cricut or even uh, on its own but I'll have a link below in the information box as well as a link to the blog post that this um, layout is on so if you want to see more details of the finished layout and also just uh, details of the layout but I'm right now I'm just kind of figuring out where am I going to put these stars where am I putting the balls that kind of thing um, and I realized when I was putting those orange stars that I really wanted them to be fully orange instead of just on the edges so that's what I'm doing there I'm just using the leftover ink from the brushes um, directly onto the stars but um, I just so far like I said I'm just loving this layout so we really love baseball in our family and this is from 2021 and um, I was really happy that my husband and my son ended up taking pictures because we don't normally take pictures of opening day but anyhow I hope you like this I like the way it looks so now I'm going to adhere everything down I ended up putting some orange and black splatter over the top of all that because I just wanted to add extra um, kind of fun to it a little bit more grunge to it before I put the title down I realized I did want a little bit of ink there to kind of just have a base for it and I just used orange what was left again on the, the brush and um, you can see that it just made a huge difference than just plopping it down on just pure white but I hopefully you like this video and if you do please give me a thumbs up make sure you hit that subs subscribe button down below if you're not already a subscriber you can go to my blog to get more details I post at least two videos a week one will always be scrapbooking and one will be whatever it is I'm creating in the command center and that is the name of my blog as well as my craft room and that can be um, stamping cards uh, cricket projects um, junk journaling I love mixed media and canvas art but anything like that but I do hope you like this make sure you check out my blog 
check out the cut cardstock blog, which I'll also have a link below. Um, and uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down, down below and I'll make sure to answer you back. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll talk to you later or I'll see you later or maybe won't. <laughs> All right.